Earlier this week we had a cheeky announcement of a new game from Motive and EA called Star Wars Squadrons. At that time only a short cinematic trailer was shown with some further information available online but EA Play has just brought us some real gameplay footage of PvP and single player. From a graphical standpoint the game looks fantastic and very immersive and now we've seen the gameplay and learnt more we've got a deeper understanding of how this game will play. Just to bring people up to speed, if you haven't seen this announcement, Star Wars Squadrons is a first person, team based multiplayer and single player game focused on the space combat experience in Star Wars set after the events of Return of the Jedi and the second Death Star being destroyed. It's due for release in October this year on PS4, Xbox Origin, Steam and the Epic Game Store, all with cross play compatibility too and full virtual reality support. The single player element of Squadrons will be a starting point of the game and it focuses on a story spanning across two different factions, the Vanguard Squadron, they're the Rebels, and the Titan Squadron, the Empire. These pilots are fully customizable and the story itself will see you switching between your pilots on either side, seeing both sides of the war through individual missions. The trailer doesn't really go into how much depth this story is going to have, but the focus seems to be on the player honing their skills and getting familiar with all eight available ships before they progress to the online element of the game, which is broken up into two distinct game modes. The first PvP game mode is dogfights, and this is a straight up 5 versus 5 battle where two teams earn points by destroying opponent starfighters in a traditional team deathmatch setting. Fleet battles on the other hand is the second PvP game mode and it's what Squadrons is calling their signature mode and it reminds me a lot of Operations from Battlefield. And in this mode you'll play both with and against other real players and AI or by yourself with AI in a multi-stage objective based battle which will see you advance the front line first by taking out a couple of capital ships to go on and reach your primary objective of destroying the enemy flagship. It's a bit of a tug of war between different battle scenarios. So in terms of the classes of ships that you'll fly in this game, there are four of them in total. The fighter class, that includes the TIE Fighter and X-Wing, and these are the most flexible and versatile ships and the best all-rounders for any situation. And then you've got the Interceptor class, which includes the TIE Interceptor and the A-Wing. And these are fast, highly maneuverable ships, ideal for hunting down the enemy and a bit of stealth. The support class, which includes the TIE Reaper and the U-Wing, whose purpose is really to try and keep allies safe and stocked up. And lastly, the Bomber class, which includes the TIE Bomber and the Y-Wing. And these guys are able to deal heavy damage to enemy flagships and starfighters with massive bombing runs. What's cool about this game is that every single ship can be customised down to the pilot from cosmetics to over 50 different components that can alter the gameplay and the way that your ship flies, how it fights and survives, including stuff like changing your primary weapons, your auxiliaries, countermeasures, the hull, shields, engines, stuff like deflector shields, sensor jammers, proton torpedoes, iron missiles, turret mines, even beam cannons. So lots of customization and adjustments that you can make to your ship. And they did say that none of these gameplay altering components will be purchasable with real money. They'll be either earned or unlocked via gameplay. Your customization choices come down to your preferred spec of each of your ships, meaning you could kit out your A-Wing with a lighter hull to keep it fast, but equip a sensor jammer so the enemy can't see you coming. And then maybe you've got your U-Wing, which you can equip with a supply droid and perhaps a targeting jammer so you can disrupt the enemy from hitting your teammates. Each component offers unique elements to your ship and some have a trade-off, so it's up to you as the player to decide, for example, do you want more protection against blaster fire but less against missiles or vice versa? Do you want more speed or do you want more damage? You have to manage that on the fly. And we can see that in the game from what looks like the hood of the cockpit. I don't know if they've disabled the real heads-up display for the trailer to make it look more cinematic, but obviously there's a lot of information on the screen there. The health of the vehicle, the components you've got, your ammunition, the speed you're going, the damage of your lasers. So it does look like everything is on screen in front of you, but I wouldn't be surprised if there is an additional HUD element that they've disabled from this trailer, like a crosshair, for example. It also appears that the game is first person only. From everything that I've read online, it seems that way. Although in the trailer, there was a couple of shots where it 
almost seemed like it was in third person, but I don't know if they were just doing that for the sake of being cinematic or third person will be an option here. I think it's just a first person only game and they've intentionally designed it in that way. I think it would be really cool though if this is the in-game HUD. You can see everything in front of you right there and you can decide how your ship's power can be channeled between your engine, your speed, your laser power, shield strength at any given time and it's all there in real time in front of you. And being able to master that and knowing which ships perform best in certain situations seems like it will be key to the gameplay and depending on which ship that you lean towards they said that it may or may not prioritize the matchmaking to put you into that specific faction whether it's for loyalty or functionality. Either way, that's our first look at the gameplay and it's cool to get a better understanding of how the game will work. I'm definitely excited to try this one out. It feels like it could be quite a tactical game, especially when playing with friends in 5v5. And I like the fact that it seems the devs have stuck to their guns here and made it first person only. I was a massive fan of Rogue Squadron on the Nintendo 64 as a kid and I know how enjoyable these kind of games can be with deep enough mechanics. Hopefully this one follows suit and can fulfill that Star Wars pilot itch for me once again. With that said, do let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think of this now that we've seen gameplay and learned more about it? If you liked the video, leave a like. Thank you. That's a great way to support me. If you didn't like it, dislike it. Subscribe for more and now we're going to let the trailer play out so you can follow along without my commentary on top. Enjoy. second Death Star is gone, but the Imperial fleet is still a threat. Vanguard Squadron, let's make history. This is it, Titan Squadron. Everything we've done has led to this. Finish those Vanguard scum! This is Star Wars Squadron. Earn your wings in a single-player story spanning two factions. All stations! Fire on that ship! and master multiplayer battles as a squadron of five. With the option to play the entire game in VR, this is the definitive Star Wars pilot experience. Uh, come on, come on! You'll begin your career in a single player story. Welcome to Titan Squadron. Where you'll play as two combat pilots, flying for both the Empire and the New Republic. You'll experience this world through your cockpit. The instrumentation in front of you provides critical feedback about power management, targeting, and shields. With a squadron of diverse characters at your side, prove your skills on increasingly challenging missions. Hello, Vanguard. Welcome to the Nadiri Dockyard. One of my spies has linked the attacks with the New Republic Starhawk project. The story of the two pilots you play Stick together. will shape the balance of power in the galaxy. Get ready! Let him have it! <laughs> to take the fight online, you'll need flight time with all eight ships. Fighters are the most flexible and versatile, able to handle any situation. Interceptors are fast and highly maneuverable. Let's get them. Ideal for hunting down your opponent's starfighters. That was kind of fun. Support ships can keep allies safe and stocked up, as well as disrupting enemy fighters. Light them up. Nice. Bombers are the heavy hitters, able to deal devastating damage to enemy flagships and starfighters. But if you've got a preferred component and need something customized, I'll take care of it. Unlock everything you need to customize your pilot and starfighters simply by playing the game. From cosmetics to an arsenal of over 50 components that alter how your ships fly, bite, and survive. They're on you! I'll deal with it. You can dramatically change your loadout depending on your squadron's strategy. Finally got him! This will be critical in Star Wars Squadron's multiplayer modes. First up, dogfights. This is an all-out 5v5 battle. Vanguard 5, that was the best! 
Fine-tune your loadouts to work as a team. Moving in on the enemy. Utilize components like tractor beams, turrets, and mines to slow down your opponents or set up your squad mates for the kill. Rebels unlocked. For teams looking for an even greater challenge, it's time to prove yourself in Star Wars Squadron's signature mode, Fleet Battles. Fleet battles are multi-stage conflicts. Whether playing solo or with friends, you'll have the option to compete against other players or AI as a squadron of five. Don't worry, I got him for you. Meet your team in the social hub to solidify strategy, coordinate loadouts, and prepare for takeoff. First, push the front line by winning the dogfight in the center of the map. Next, attack or defend two medium-sized capital ships. We've lost our capital ships. And finally, the ultimate goal, Target and destroy the subsystems of your opponent's massive flagship and take it down. Shields are disabled. At each phase, your squadron either pushes the line forward or falls back to defend. Keep our flagships safe. It's your squadron's choice of how to play. I'm hit! Speedy, unrelenting assaults. Stay together, strike quickly. Stealth and subversion. Jamming the enemy. Sensors can't spot you or brutal bombardment. That ship is vulnerable, take your shot. We need to hurry. A unified squadron is the key to victory. Taking my attack run now. Let's make this count. This is Star Wars Squadrons. Join the galaxy's finest and make your mark. You are the hope of this galaxy.